All right, let's hold. Yes. First decent hand we've seen. Now we get king nine under the gun. We're jamming this. Short handed. Let's ride this heater. Hold. King. 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 No! Fourteenth place for two hundred and seventy four dollars. Twenty two dollar buy in. So fucking gross, runner, runner, miracle. So fucking gross. Twenty two hundred people, we got fourteenth. First place was seven thousand dollars, second place five thousand dollars. We didn't get none of that. The hand that you missed, if you can if you're still watching the stream, I can play back for you. Pretty brutal. Here's the big hand that was not on stream. And here's how it went down. I think I played it pretty damn well. Only marginal spot would be the river play, but I'm trying to get value from six X any pocket pair, possibly too optimistic, but this is how it went down. Defend here, flop nothing. So I bet small on the turn to get value from 6x, maybe even some optimistic flush draws, 5-3 for the straight draw. He leads, I shove, and he calls with quads. Pretty gross, pretty gross. Let's run it again, because I love pain. I just love pain, you know? Oh shit, there we go, resize it, there we go. One more time, for the fans, this is what 12 hours of play looks like. Pick up kings, you're excited, the board runs out. Perfect. You're only losing to 4x and pocket 6s, pretty unlikely. So, yeah, in retrospect, my gut was to just call the river. But I wanted to get greedy and go for max value on that beautiful run out, and it did not work out. That's okay. We have 40000 in the $30 12K, and we have 700000 in the $11 10K Mo 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 PLO series event. So we're not giving up. Let's check the lobby. A6 suited, A6 suited, it's a close one. Pretty close, pretty close. I think we're just gonna let it go. Let it go. Clearly show up an ace ten suited, even ace five suited. Alright, ace 
is King Badoogie Omaha Hand. Hopefully the stream is not lagging. Let me know in chat. Video output low. Interesting. Waiting for a much better spot with kings under the gun. We're going to tank shove. Looks like we're real desperate. Like we're right borderline. Get called from worse and double. Back in it. Not dropping any frames on my end. Everything seems to be fine. Must be a problem on YouTube's end. I didn't change anything over here. Final two tables of the $11 Mo 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 PLO. Attempting to shove this 10-9 suited. Maybe if the raise was a little bit lighter position. Or they were a looser player, I could profitably shove this. Flop top three pair with the backdoor clubs. We're going for the check raise pot to deny equity from the draws. A lot of king ten ace x of spades out there. Here we go. Nice. We got him covered. Let's get a hold. Top three pair. 
all in. Okay. You had the ace redraw, and I had the six redraw. It's fine, we'll chop up that dead money. Pot and go with this blind versus blind. Ace suited with the King Jack, definitely worth an open. Good flop, top and bottom. Half pot. Aces. Min raise, half pot takes it down. I would open this if the ace was suited. 
and it would have shoved that ace deuce if it was suited. Unfortunately, we get no action with the aces. It's okay. Almost Jeezy time. Almost. Thirteen players remain from one thousand in the Mo 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 PLO event. I love PLO. Nice. Blind versus blind. Going with it. Make him fear he's putting his tournament life at risk with, with a marginal holding. Take down 75,000. Or we still have 40% if he does happen to pick up a good hand. Doing a fine job, Thomas O'Toole the third, longtime viewer. And don't look now, there's 20 people left in the Big Ten, 12.5K, actually 18.5K today. Who's tens with a suit? Mmm. Tightful. Tightful. Want to see a flop here? I really do. See, now that's a flop. That's, that can get me in trouble. Overpair, top pair, gut shot. Let's get some music going. Yep, the stream will keep cutting in and out. I don't know why. I don't know why there's low quality. Today is the first day this has happened. Wish there was something I could do about it. Until then, you can watch me approach this PLO final table in an unprecedented, oh shit. No time bank bottom right. We're almost at the final two tables.
Pal in Omaha, starting hand selection is probably the most important thing because you can lose a lot of money with reverse implied odds based upon marginal starting hands if you're not a real expert. Identifying different board textures and uh, stuff like that is very important, but starting hand selection is where the whole process starts. Being able to fold kings pretty not fun, but must be done sometimes when you're pretty sure someone has aces, depending on what dead money's in there and stack size, of course. Currently have eighty-five dollars locked up, but her eye is on a four-figure score in this Momo PLO. Easy jam, ace, blind with one. Alright, should be a chop. Or we could hit a deuce. Oh shit. And we're out of the eleven dollar. Queen Jack just got I'm open this. Is a good rejam spot? How much does this guy open? Probably a good rejam spot. I bet I'm gonna let it go though. I mean, Jack suited up. I show up. It's that close. It's just that close. Got this for value. No draws on the board. There's a range advantage in the other one. Down to 18. You always want your ace suited to your other card. A naked ace is in fact very naked. Don't want to mess with that. Two tourneys, two lobbies, let's go. Walk it out. Nice. You can get a read on people, the fact that he timed down there, it's more likely he's uh, waiting for those pay jumps, he's gonna be playing tighter. Waiting for the other people at the other table to bust. 17 remain in the $30. And 13 remain in the pot limit Omaha. Huge fields. We're getting down to where all the money is. These are the most important moments of a tournament. Definitely potting it if folded to. Looks like he's going to time bank fold again. Nice. We're going to 
quickly do this. Let them know we're confident in our hand strength. It's a double suited double pair. Pretty rare. Pretty rare. Looks like we have a flush, but in reality, this is not a good thing. Time for some coconut water. What you know about that? Horrible PLO hand. Badoogie. King high. As gapped as possible. King 10 close to a shove under the gun. But I'll wait for a better spot. Thanks for sticking around with the poor video quality. I'm out of options. I've restarted the stream five times. If you know what I can do to change video output low on YouTube, let me know in the comments. Wow, now this is a pretty hand. Ace Jack 10 9 double suited. We're all oh yeah. This is this is beautiful. Let's switch it over. So you can just see how damn pretty this is. Let's take a let me take a picture of this. It's just so pretty. Snapchat. Pretty hand. God damn, that's a pretty Omaha hand. We're deep. We're almost at the final table. Gonna pot it. Now that's a pretty Omaha hand. Let's get this final table on ACR. Need a hand in the thirty dollar. Oh shit! We're Snapchat. Uh, 
Rejam this if the ace are suited. It's that easy. Or that close, shall we say. Now this is an ugly old man. Ugly Omaha. Seven's all in. Let's win. Nice. All right. Those are the money spots we're waiting for. Don't need to be too marginal. Yeah, definitely lagging. Don't know what else to do. Problem with OBS, maybe? Zero frames dropped, OBS seems to be working smoothly. I blame YouTube. Net neutrality, what's going on? Video output low. Ugh, double suited looks pretty, but Five dudes are horrible. No not draws. We gotta fold to this action. Oh, I know this guy from WSOP.com. He's real laggy. But we can't do anything with Jack 3. Blinds are up. Button right. God. Wish we had a king four suited so we could jam here, but we don't. I will be jamming the queen ten up. It folds. But it's not, we got a lag opening, and we can't open this. Middle pair, not flush drum. 
as well. King Jack off in the cutoff. Doesn't fold to us. They're giving us no opportunity. Bunch of lag euros. Just want to be first in here, guys. Just want to be first in. Thanks for all the bang, Thomas O'Toole. Ace Queen suited, loving it. Let's go. Uh, we don't care if there's a raise here, we're all in. That's what we call a premium. He opens a lot anyway. Shoving for value. And we got aces in Omaha. It's a good sign. Let's get to 100k real quick, bottom right. Pop the aces. Win with ace queen. Nice. Queen to lock it up. No. Jesus. 113,000 to a three outer. Did not make the final table. 17th place for $147. Maximum devastation, six and a half hours of play. Not going to complete here, it's a trap hand. That's gross. That's gross. Oh, screen was not it. My bad. Yeah, open, I shove ace queen, he has ace ten. Flops ten, turn a jack, rivers a brick. No king, no queen, no justice. Waited for that perfect spot, only to lose. Didn't need a hundred thousand ships anyway. Thirty five hundred up top there. But that's all in the past. Can't dwell on the past. Wind this track right here. Close your eyes. Pop open from under the gun. Queen Jack Jack nine double suited. Not quite good enough to continue. And I could just gamble and get it into forty percent equity. Wouldn't be the worst thing, but I think we can find better spots where we can uh, leverage our stack.
cups. Nigga, tell me I just So this should get respect, or we can call the short stacks if need to. Put a folded to Red Horse. I like 
sets. Get a hole. Or a hole. Either one's fine.
Now I'm going to raise and pull the red horse, call Mr. Monkey Lucky. This guy keeps limping. Doesn't mean necessarily mean he's fish, or is by the limping strategies. versus those hands with the dead money in the short stack, easy call. I mean, easy call regardless, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Right, let's take out two people, swap a straight. Bunch of deuces. Straight, yep. Uh, boat, got him. Final table. I'm living in 
Two more down. That is nice. I'm gonna say that I'm a thug. That's because I came from the gutter and I'm still here. I'm not saying I'm a thug because I want to rob you and rape you. Lobby. That's what we're playing for. I'm not angry at that. I'm angry at the Three hundred dollars locked up. Shoot for that eighteen hundred dollar price for the low investment of eleven dollars. Only on America's card. Use bonus code Boski when you deposit. Or if I see you at a live tournament, use bonus code live Boski. Full, full show mode. Trust in this cold world. My only homie had a baby by my old girl. But I ain't 
Don't stop it, go. Weaver at the loom. Keep calm, that's good. Hopefully he loses, so we're six handed. Queens? Muck? Muck, ship it. Now six handed. Tupac providing the tunes. Two shortest stacks on my left. $404 guaranteed. Looking for that number one $1,800 spot though. Thank you, James. Almost a good hand. Oh. That's where those people are from. Roman from Lakewood. Mark D from Maple Plain. Jeffo from Muskegon. Shout out to Michigan. Home sweet home. Crazy Angel from Linwood. Says female. Don't believe it. Bad Bob from McChesney Park, United States. Everyone's from the U.S. That's a good sign. The Euro is usually better. This hand is not a good sign, so we're just going to pull. Unsuited Kings with some connectivity. This could be tricky. 3x, wow. Unsuited. God, this is gross. I think because of Ace and the quickness of his raise, damn. This is going to look so nitty, but I think I'm going to fold how it's suited. And there was two of my shorter stacks on my left and one on the right. I would go with this, but he has this covered. Could be exploitable if he watches this in five minutes and sees him folding kings to an open. Shows aces! Shows aces, I'm a genius. Holy shit. and put on the pressure. Not a very good hand, but they gotta have a much better hand to continue. Now we pick up aces. 
We probably had an ace, jack, jack, five suited. Wow, we had, our queens were good. They just had to hold. Lucky a heart didn't come. Uh, but wow. Suited aces with the sevens. Easy pot situation. I'll click this replay for you here in a second. Set. I love top set. Now should we bet really small? Or we have less than a pot size bet. We can keep it balanced. Maybe look at his queens or some sort of bad rat. And we got back to our clothes. Nice, he's got nothing. Oh my god, runner runner flush? Are you serious? Calls the pot bet pre $505. It's at 1800, 3 million chip pot. Wow. We're gonna watch the hand replay on both of those epic hands, but that's just horrible. Horrible. Snaps it off. Gut shot. Wow. Alright. Let me get this replay up for you guys. So here's the big hand right before that. So he has ace, jack, jack, five, double suited, very reasonable repot. This guy flat calls, which is really weird. And we get it in. He flatted with ace, king, queen, seven, three hearts. The seven's a horrible card to have. Bad Bob, horrible play. Luckily, he didn't hit a hard on us. We actually had this guy crushed, his diamonds blocked, queens versus jacks, and his jack blocked. Still somehow gets his one outer on the flop. Let me run, let me, I'm gonna have to run the, run the math on this one here in a second. We'll get back to it. Let's go to the next hand, the very next hand. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Of course it wasn't sized right. Damn it. We'll go over that one again. Alright, so. Oh. I'm gonna look at him. Oh, I'm so tilted. <laughs> so tilted. Alright, hand replay, hand history. Here we go. Alright. Size appropriately. So after that devastation, we pick up aces the next hand. Okay, reasonable. We pot it. He flat calls. What does he flat call with? Let's see. We got top set. He calls. King Jack 9 4. So all he has is a 10. Two backdoor flush draws. Not that much equity, especially when we have top set. We have his club flush draw blocked. We have the seven of diamonds blocked. We don't have a 10 block, but he doesn't hit that. He hits miracle runner runner diamond that doesn't pair the board because the queen or the deuce of diamonds gives us a full house. I'll run the equity in this in one second. 
check out the other hand. Beautiful hand, pressed open. Oh, too big again, sorry. We open a premium. This guy three bests with ace, jack, jack, five, double suited. We get black call by ace, king, queen, seven, three hearts. Horrible call. We get it in. This guy hits his miracle. down here. This guy's not, his diamonds are blocked. He has one jack as an owl. His aces, both their aces are counterfeited. I have a king, he has a king. The seven's a horrible card. He didn't somehow get his heart. That's the only good thing that happened during this hand. We end up with top two and it's no good versus set. Let's run the odds of this uh, pre-flop. Because that's what matters. When you run equities, it's all about when the money goes in, or the majority of the money. Don't be results oriented. Oh, we got a um, three ace king versus queen, they hit a king, river to queen. Sure, that's a five percenter, but you were really a 45 percent to win the hand. So, I'm gonna use this little equity calculator I got here called, uh, uh called something. We got. King, Queen, Queen, Jack, versus Ace of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, Five of Clubs, Jack of Clubs, versus a bunch of hearts, Ace, Queen, Seven, and the beautiful King of Spades. Hit equities, and there you go. I'm 42.5% to win pre flop, three ways in Omaha, which is unheard of. Ace, Jack, Jack, five is 30%, and the horrible flat call and call off is 25%. Not even throwing in ICM implications when I have them both covered. A devastating beat that probably cost me uh, five to $800 in equity. If we win that pot, huge chip leader, in control, can really pressure the table, and we'd be forehanded. Instead, we lose that pot. Now let's go to the next hand. Run the equities on that. What we have here is... Ace-A-7-7. I'll join the chat in a second here when I get done steaming over this devastation and laying down uh, some, some odds work for you. Versus, we'll go on the flop too, since half the money was on the flop. King Jack, nine, four. Sixty-five percent pre-flop versus thirty-five. 
you're like, oh, that isn't much of an edge. In Omaha, that's a huge edge. Most hands are 60-40, 55-45 are just straight flips to be 65% pre, putting in half your money with his marginal hand. I wouldn't even hate it if he had a, a 10 of clubs. Every card counts a lot in Omaha. Now, let's see the equities on this on this flop here. Because that's where the other half of the money, or 65% of the money went in, called my shove after I three bet. Flop of ace of diamonds, deuce of clubs, queen of spades. 84% versus 16%. I'm 84% to win when all the money goes in for 3.7 million chips. Also would put me with a big chip lead. Four-handed, or almost four-handed. He did a 400K. He somehow had me covered. But I mean, that's just gambling. You, you gotta take the good with the bad. Sometimes bad shit happens, and that's how it goes. Answer a few questions in chat, and oh, the stream's still good. That's good. Unfortunately, the stream is over. Shout out to Beer Light Broker. Thank you, Jason S. Uh, that King King lay down was epic. I'm glad he showed aces. <laughs> 